crepes. They're so very French and having that French background, I love them. There are a thousand ways of making them. This way takes the cake, I feel. It's going to be crepes filled with an apple and blueberry compote. And to make them extra special, I'm going to cook them twice. So the second time, I'm going to make them crispy on the outside. So let's get onto the crepe batter. This is my go-to recipe. It's foolproof. It works a treat. And I always like to make it a day ahead. If you've got time, please do, because the crepes, I find, always work a little better. It's also one job that you can get out of the way. So one cup of flour. Just got a half cup measure here, so we'll just roughly measure that out. Just plain flour for crepes when you're making uh, pancakes or pikelets, that's self-raising flour. And that's the main point of difference when you're making crepes. Crepes are really, really thin as opposed to pancakes, which are fluffy, light and a bit thicker. So I like to just sift my flour just so it is really light. And because these are sweet crepes, a tablespoon or so of caster sugar, a pinch of salt. And we'll just give that a little mix and make a well in the centre. For the eggs, you'll need three eggs for this recipe and we'll just crack them straight into the centre. The reason I always say crack them straight into the centre is because when I start to mix this, I just want to slowly, slowly incorporate the flour and by doing that, we get no lumps. So with a whisk, break up your eggs and then gradually bring in the sides. Now, once it starts to get a little thick and hard to mix, then I start to incorporate the milk. Just to make it easier for you to remember the quantities, I say 500 mils of full fat milk. And we're going to little by little add some. It may look like a lot of milk, but by the time you add it and allow it to rest, it does thicken up a bit. The consistency that we're after is the consistency of pouring cream. So if it looks a bit too thick, just add a little bit more milk. Okay, and just a splash of melted butter. Okay, done. Let's just leave that there for a moment while we get onto the compote. So this is an apple and blueberry compote. Into a pot, we'll add apples. I have three Granny Smith apples here that I've peeled, cored and quartered. And I've just quartered them just to cook this much faster. And in they go. We don't want to add our blueberries yet because I don't want them to collapse too much. I kind of like the texture of semi-cooked blueberries. So we'll add them later. Some sugar, a couple of spoonfuls of sugar and a small squeeze of lemon juice, a splash of water. And I love my cinnamon, so a very small pinch of cinnamon. Give that a quick stir just to combine everything. This will go now on a medium heat and we can place the lid on and we're going to cook this for about five to eight minutes or until those apples just start to collapse. Back to the crepes. Now this is what the batter should look like after it's rested in the fridge overnight. You can see how it's thickened up. Look at that. That's what we're after. So this is your opportunity to add a little extra of that milk. I don't think it needs too much. Just use about half of this and that's just right. We want it to be really thin because I want my crepes to be like handkerchiefs, so super thin, you can almost see through them. So the best way to cook crepes, in my opinion, is in a crepe pan. And if it's non-stick, just like this large 32 centimetre one, even better because it's just so easy to flip. So I'm going to place this onto a medium to high heat. You want it to be medium high so they set straight away. And I know it's at the optimum temperature when that thermo signal is solid red. A little splash of the butter. This is just to ensure we get that beautiful golden colour on all our crepes. So I just use pastry brush because you don't want too much of this butter because it is non-stick after all. And I find a crepe pan is such a fantastic investment because of this low rim, which just makes it so easy to flip your crepes or even if you've got pancakes or you're making savoury pancakes, it's just so much easier. Okay, let's make our crepes. So a ladle full of our batter straight into the centre of the pan and we're just going to spread that out so it's even. If there's an excess of the batter, all you need to do is just pour it in. 
because we do want them as thin as possible. So that now goes back on the heat. So as soon as it sets, you'll see you can jiggle the pan. If it jiggles easily, it means we can flip. So we'll just cook that for about a minute on each side. These apples are almost cooked. See how that's bubbling away? So I'll give that another five minutes. And in the last five minutes of cooking, I'm going to add our blueberries. Best part about crepes is the flip. And of course, the aim is to get it back in the pan. Ha ha, just like that. So that needs a few more minutes on that side and I'll make a few more. In the meantime, let's have a look at our beautiful compote. See how that's cooked down? That's looking good. So we'll add our beautiful big plump blueberries. The whole punnet can go in and that cooks for a further five minutes. Last crepe is cooked and we'll just pop that onto the pile and I'm going to return the crepe pan to the heat. So again on a medium heat and we'll start wrapping up these beautiful crepes. So working with one at a time, I'm going to turn it onto the blonder side and we'll add a spoonful of our blueberry and apple compote. Isn't that just the most delicious thing? Full of flavour. I love how some of the berries have been left whole and the apple, you can still see it. So try not to mix it too much, just so we've got that beautiful look. Okay, so generous spoonful onto the crepe, just onto the bottom half of the crepe, because we're going to roll it up. I want some more of those blueberries. Oh, looks good. You could also add some sultanas to this. Uh, some raisins work nicely. And then we're just going to fold this up you can make it into a square parcel. You can make it into, you know, a cylinder if you like. You just want to make sure you keep that filling in the centre. So that's looking good. I'll brush this parcel with some more butter very lightly. It doesn't need too much. We just want some more sugar to stick to it. Sprinkling of sugar on the top. So into the pan and just allow that to caramelise just for a few moments on each side. To serve this up, fantastic with custard, equally as great with some dollop cream. So a big spoonful of the cream on the side. Oh, look at that, nice and rich. And I kind of like to make a little puddle in the centre because I want to add some more of these blueberries and apple, just so you really know what kind of crepe you're going to get. So that's the flavour and some more of that in there. Okay, let's turn the crepe, just press down on it gently. Ooh, see how crispy that is? We'll just press down lightly on that so we get some really good caramelisation on the presentation side. Turn that over again and then onto the plate with our puddle of cream. Now, I like all types of crepes, even the simple ones just with lemon and sugar. But this one, filled with lots of compote, lots of blueberries and cream, this really does take the crepe.